This example shows you how to do a Braille distribution in weapon coordinates. So we're going to uh, pop up the dialog and clear out some values. This time we're going to shoot straight down from the straight down the uh, x-axis in the front of the vehicle. Um, some default values: the uh, nose to warhead. CG distance is 0.5. Turn off the multiple attacks. So we're just going to do a distribution of uh, a thousand trajectories. The aim point at the center of the target. I'll show you a number of different angles here so you can see what we are doing. Just shooting down the front with a very small CEP to demonstrate to the concept of this kind of problem. So let's change it to a diving attack, 70 degrees in elevation. Increase the CEP a bit to 0.75 meters. Everything else the same. So you can see the pattern on the top of the target. Notice that the uh, the burst points are offset from the actual contact point of where the trajectories would be coming in in this distribution. That's the 0.5 nose to warhead CG distance, which is a uh, simulating a, a offset of the uh, the warhead from the nose. So let's. Um, change the aim point from the center of the target bounding box. So now the aim point is three meters above the ground plane in more or less the center of the target. So we can move that back and forth if you want to simulate changing the aim point to the forward part of the vehicle. See the change in, uh, in the overall PK and the PK of the individual burst points. Right. Move it to the back of the vehicle. And you can see that more of the fragments actually hit vulnerable components this way. Just a function of the location of the aim point and the orientation of the warheads. Multiple weapon attack simulates a number of munitions per salvo and a number of salvos. So in each salvo, we're, hit, we're hitting it with 10 munitions and then computing a PK, accumulating the PK over all the weapons during the calculation. And then the, the uh, Monte Carlo effect is the uh, number of salvos. Now you won't see uh, the burst points in the result of this calculation. You only see the average PK over all the salvos, over a hundred of them. And that's it for this example.